Here's our Bravago tale of the tape. Amari Akhmedov, five years older. It is Josh Silvera, who's listed as one inch taller. Reach advantage favors Josh Silvera in the arms and the legs for this semifinal. Ray Flores, get him going. Ladies and gentlemen from New York City, it is time for our second PFL light heavyweight semifinal matchup. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a grappler standing six feet one inch tall, weighing in officially at 206 pounds. His record a perfect one, nine wins, eight of those coming by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. He is the number five seed. Introducing Josh Silvera. And across the PFL Smart Cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He's a mixed martial artist, standing six feet even, weighing in officially at 204 and one half pounds. A 31 fight veteran, his record stands at 23 wins, seven losses, one draw, including 15 wins by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Here is the number two seed, Omari Akhmedov. And your referee in charge is Kerry Hatley. Kerry Hatley equipped with the ref cam, Omari Akhmedov in the gold trunks, Josh Silvera in the gray. They did an entire fight camp in the same gym training literally around the corner. Line of sight at American Top Team means you can go around the corner, train I on the other mats, and you for, won't right? see, ready, ready. or mostly hear, what's happening in the other portion. Awkward. <laughs> Southpaw stands for Severa. Inside leg kick there from Amari Akhmedov. Silvera said he really wants to put the pace on Akhmedov, get him to work every second of every round, see if he can tire him out. Silvera was a Division I wrestler at Arizona State University, and of course, Omari Akhmedov, part of that long lineage of Dagestani fighters who certainly don't lack for any wrestling credentials. Yeah, I think they started him at three over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, high kick attempt there from Akhmedov, who loses his footing. Able to scramble back to his feet. So they're showing that he does have the speed advantage here so far. Yeah, he's been very evasive and elusive. He's hard to yeah. get a hand on, or a foot on for that matter. Yeah, he's utilizing a lot of feints, giving him a lot of different looks, trying to get made off off of his rhythm. Neither of these guys are the largest men you're gonna see in the 205 pound division, but both have displayed some speed and quickness as here come the USA chance from the Madison Square Garden crowd. I think Akhmedov's has got, he's got to start letting that straight right hand go. There it is. Goes to the body with it. Yeah, I'd like to see if he can time Silvera when he is level changing. Because Silvera's got to be careful. He's level changing and staying right in front of Akhmedov, not really creating an angle there. He is, can't be susceptible when he does that. There's Rob Wilkinson watching intently. He wants to know who he will be fighting in the 2022 PFL Championship. That is a majestic mustache right there. <laughs> a couple of body kicks, a pair of them, from Josh Silvera. There's that straight right. Oh, good sharp jab from the Mario Madoff. That one hurt Josh Silvera. Yeah, and again, he caught him when he was level changing. Silvera's base is a little bit off when he's doing that. Not really set up to take a shot there. There's the right hand attempt. Silvera's able to stay out just past where the power is. And Akhmedov is always so dangerous early in a fight. 
And that was one of the questions about whether or not he would be late in the fight. We've seen his gas tank come into question before. Yep, I'd give the advantage early to Akhmedov in this fight and Silvera late in the fight if he can get there. Ooh, another right hand there from Akhmedov who's now finding a little bit more of a home for his favorite strike. Silvera's got to be careful not to drop his hands and watch his work when he's looking for those one-twos. Another straight right to the body. Good left hand from Severa. Kenny, you called for a variety of strikes from Severa. It's mostly been one twos and a lot of a lot of feints in motion so far. Oh, nice there. Change. Beautiful very timing there. That's a really textbook level change of penetration. Very good. That's very a Sun good. Devil good. move right good. there for sure. Yeah. Right back to his feet is Amari Akhmedov. Conan Severa offers advice to his son. Another takedown attempt here from Severa. About 30 seconds left in the round. Akhmedov pushes him against the smart kick. And that is much better head movement and footwork there from Silvera, who's looking for that angle, getting his head off the center line. Not just staying in front of Akhmedov. Live, excuse me, Randy, live fighter performance rating right now favors Amari Akhmedov, probably on the efforts of those right hands that did land. That's twice I've seen Severo lower his hands, almost like he's baiting him to throw a combination and then he changes levels and takes it down. Yeah, it's worked well for him so far. Final few seconds of this first round, light heavyweight semifinal. We'll see the second frame next. All right, here we go, man, round two, round two, ready? Let's go. Touch of the gloves. Round number two, once again, Silvera in the gray trunks in the southpaw stance. Off made off in the goal. The fans and FPR gave round number one to Amari Off made off. Let's bring in our betting expert, Ian Parker. How is he looking at the live odds here? As well as the pick on this fight. Ian, what do you got? Well, look, if you if you have Josh Silvera, you're a little worried. Now is a good time to get a Mariak Meta because the number went from 55 now to plus 145. However, we spoke about earlier, it just depends on a Mariak Meadow's cardio. And what Josh Silvera should do is wrestle and test it. I'm going to hold off. I still believe in Silvera in this fight. I think he's the more high Q level fighter. And I think cardio is going to play a factor. But if you want to jump on Akmeda, do it now. Well, almost on cue there, Ian. Obviously, Josh Silvera getting the takedown. Once again, Akmeda was able to get back to his feet. But that up and down is taxing on the on the cardio. But I think a lot of these takedowns, you know, although they are brief, it is getting up man off to work and work hard, and that's what's going to tire him out. Absolutely agree. I think that's the way to test the gas tank is make him pick himself back up and right. scramble underneath there. Now they're getting to it a little bit, a couple of clashes, almost a headbutt. Up made off throwing that chopping right hand. And once again, Severa trying to wrestle. Akhmedov is telegraphing that overhand right a little bit. Silvera seeing it coming now. Sharp, one, two, and then Silvera out of distance again. Now this is where Akhmedov, you'll see him, he attacked the body, and Silvera dropped his hands a little bit. This is where Akhmedov could switch things up and go upstairs. And we know he's got the power to put away any 205-pounder in the world. Oh! Scooped the right hand that time. Did Amari Akhmedov, mixing it up as Kenny suggested. I think he's timing that level change there with that little shovel, shovel hook. Yeah. The first PFLX fighter pack drop is live. Don't miss your chance to collect NFTs from your favorite fighters. Buy now at PFLX.io. So Vera circling around the outside of the smart cage here, content to let Amari Akhmedov control things on the inside. See now the live odds, it's a pick em at this point in the fight. Two minutes remain. 
effective exchange of inside leg kicks. We'll go inside the blue corner of Josh LeBaron. Let's go. 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 Right, come on. Come on. Keep the pace. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Come on. Silvera staying really busy with those leg kicks now and body kicks. Good to see him bring those back. Surprised he hasn't gone upstairs with that roundhouse kick, that same kick that he landed on Hamlet. Fed up, countered a couple of those kicks with that left hook. Mm. He landed at least one of those. And now there's the high kick from Josh Silvera. You see him picking up the pace here. Tactical fight from both men. There's a nice right hand from Akhmedov. He saw his opportunity, had him next to the fence, and he threw, he attacked. That's exactly the time you want to do that. The avenue of escape goes away as you move closer to the fence. And if you're questioning Omari Akhmedov's ability to compete quite as hard in the third round, you've got to put in the work right now to make him question. Yeah, I, I would like to see a lot more wrestling from Josh Silvera and test that tank. And almost on cue, Hard he, he goes to the clinch. I'll tell you what, Josh Silvera looks to be the more tired fighter right now. Well, he, he did turn up the activity here in the second half of the second round, and Omari Akhmedov pulled the veteran move, stayed just outside of striking range, and on that big high volume takedown attempt, just wizard hard. And that's what I'm seeing, Sean, absolutely. I think he's been more patient, he's been efficient this round. And he hasn't been forcing his striking on the feet. Final 10 seconds of this second round. A trip to the PFL Championship at 205 pounds is on the line between these two teammates. Round three to come on ESPN. All right, here we go, man. Round three. Let's go. Third and final round here. A hug between these two longtime teammates. Omari Akhmedov in the gold trunks. Josh Silvera in the black and gray. Five more minutes to determine which man will fight Rob Wilkinson for the 205 pound championship coming up in November. Body kick there from Akhmedov. You can see the live odds have swung pretty heavily in Amari's favor as both the fans and FTR also gave Akhmedov round number two. Another right hand there from Akhmedov. I gotta say though, guys, we did see one screwy oh. scorecard earlier tonight. That is and true. I wouldn't feel comfortable in the corner letting know that either of these guys you know, can cruise and we're in round three. They gotta go for it. Especially you look at how narrow the margin is, even according yeah. to fighter performance rating, you know, these judges don't see things always the same way as the algorithm or the fans. Or at least one of these judges. <laughs> yes, exactly. Silvera has put together some nice sharp one-twos, but it ends there. Another right hand snaps the oh, head back. That's a fourth or fifth one like that in this round. You see the moisture flying off the majestic mullet of Josh Silvera, who tries an overhand left <laughs> of his own. Fight tracker keeping the positioning of Omari Akhmedov, who has been in control of the center of the smart cage. Good body kick there from Silvera. Tries one right up the middle. That left hand landed as well. And again, Silvera starting to watch his work again. He's keeping that head in the center line, which is right in the line of fire of Akhmedov. He's got to get that head off the center line as a southpaw there. More bouncing and movement from Omari Akhmedov, who found himself on the receiving end of a couple of sharp combinations, uncorks one of his own. Silvera's so hand speed's impressive, though. He whips those out there, lightning fast. Haven't really seen him sit down on anything just yet. Omari Akhmedov has. Thankfully for Silvera, those overhand rides have been mostly blocked. Time to attack right here. That body shot almost looked like it hurt him. Yeah. He it over a little bit. Absolutely. A couple of those left kicks to Omari Akhmedov's body have scored. Inside leg kick shifts the balance of Silvera. Yeah, I think this is where the experience of Akhmedov has really taken over. Win or lose, Josh Silvera is going to learn a lot from this fight. Well-timed right hand from Omari Akhmedov. Good awareness here from Silvera, though, realizing that maybe wrestling is not going to win him 
this fight at this point. He's going to strike it out, it would appear, about two minutes left. A nice left hand by Silvera. And another body kick. He's having more success sticking and moving. Just has to be careful going straight back as he moves his head. Can't help the field, Kenny. If Josh Silvera was able to put together some more volume on each combination, yeah. he might find the third and fourth strike landing. Yeah, 100%. I think a lot of that is he's not able to create angles after he lands that one, too. Just kind of moving straight backwards after he lands. That time it was the left hook for Makhmedov. But snap ahead of Josh Silvera. There's some nice footwork there from Silvera. Severa looking to preserve his undefeated record. Amari Akhmedov looking to capitalize on a long and successful career with a $1 million championship opportunity here in the PFL. A clash of shins as Akhmedov tried the inside leg kick. That's the kick that hurts both men. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I don't want any part of that. Do you already see some swelling there on the inside of Akhmedov's leg? Inside of one minute here in this third and final round. Severa switching stances, but not able to unleash anything. Good inside leg kick from Severa. Yeah, that took away off the head. base. There's a takedown attempt here from Josh. Damn, yeah, nice wizard by Akhmedov. Good hand control. Got that wizard and that far hand. It's pretty tough to take a guy down with one hand. Yep, Josh may switch to the single now. He's trying to get that double, but again, like you said, Randy, he's controlling that wrist very well. Got that wide stance. Gonna be tough to lock up a double from there. Final 10 seconds of this fight. Severa switches to an inside single. Oh, brings it down. Nice gets the takedown. Down. Stop, stop. And that'll do it, final bell. Ladies and gentlemen, having completed three rounds inside the PFL Smart Cage, we go to the scorecards. The judges see the contest 30 27, 30 27, and 29 28 for your winner by unanimous decision and advancing to the 2022 PFL Light Heavyweight Championship, Omari.